Good morning, everyone. Today's uh, Makerspace challenge is we're going to create a um, rotating shrinking square. Okay, so here's my example. So as you see, it uh, may be a little tough to see on this one, but it uh, starts off as a square, and the square keeps, so for example, I'll show you with a piece of paper, the square keeps turning like this. It keeps twisting, but it also gets smaller. Each time it turns, it gets smaller. And how smaller it gets is uh, basically determined by you. And it's not too difficult, but it does require um, some measuring. Okay, and the hardest part of this, believe it or not, is creating the square to start with. So what you'll need uh, before we start is you will need a ruler, uh, a ruler, a pencil, and just a um, plain piece of paper. Okay, no scissors or glue or tape uh, for this one. Now, what we want to do first is is uh, draw our square. So for this one, my square was how big did I make it? Uh, 15 centimeters. So 15 centimeters is pretty good. And the way we did that, so it's 15 centimeters both length and width. Okay. So what I did here is because drawing a square on a piece of paper is kind of hard because there's nothing to reference it. So what you need to do is measure across the page first. So if I want to make it 15 centimeters, let's say um, I want to go maybe uh, three centimeters from the edge. Okay, so I'm going to measure three centimeters from the edge. Okay, I'm going to draw a line like this. Okay, it's not going to be that big. I'm just drawing a line, it's, and you can do that. That's fine. Uh, and then I want my square to be 15 centimeters. Okay, 15 centimeters across, all right, like this. And now I'm going to join my two dots and make a line. Now it's going to be somewhere in here. Okay, now I need to measure down from the top of the page. Uh, let's say I'll measure uh, five centimeters down. So if it's 15 centimeters long, I want it to be, uh, let's not do it that way. So I want I do five centimeters down from there, five centimeters down from there. Okay, and this is the top of my square. Right there, and I want a 15 centimeter square, so I go down to 15, make a little mark, 15, and make a little mark. Okay, now if you're having troubles with uh, drawing the square, maybe you could get um, a parent or a grandparent or um, an older sibling to help you um, make the square on the page, or if you have something to trace the square with. Uh, that you have at home, um, whether it be a small box of some kind, you can put it on top, and you can certainly trace the square um, around it. Just it works better to start if it's a nice uh, a nice square. I actually haven't tried it with a rectangle, but um, it'd be interesting to see how it would work. I don't think it would turn out properly because I think you need equal sides. This also works uh, as a triangle as well, but we're going to do with the square today. Now, first thing you need to do. We have our square to start. Now this square is actually going to turn. Okay, you can do clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm gonna do it, um, for me, it'll be clockwise. And the square turns and it gets smaller at the same time. Okay, so what we do is we start, it's always gonna be going around this way, always around this way. I'm gonna always make this my starting point. So I start from the top, okay. And I'm going to do one centimeter marks. So I'm gonna go a centimeter from there. So I travel around and I go a centimeter from here. Okay, so a centimeter in, centimeter in, this one centimeter in. Okay, there's a centimeter in. And then I travel around and it goes a centimeter in here as well. Okay, so now I'm still traveling around this way so i'm starting on this point and so i go from here to this mark and that's one of the new edges of my square and i go from here to the mark that i just made okay and then i go from there to the mark that i made 
and then I go from there. Okay, so there's my new square. Okay, and it's twisted. And it's actually, it's tough to see, but it's actually a little smaller now. Okay, so it's turned. Now I want to turn this one again. Okay, and I want to turn it another centimeter. So I start up here. This is always going to be my starting point right there. Okay, and I'm going around this way again. Right, so now there's where I started. There's my next one. Now I need another one. But each mark that you make is going to be on the last square that you've drawn, not the original one. Each mark is on the last square that you've drawn. So this is the new square that I make my marks on, okay? Although it will look like you're putting your mark on the old square because they, sh they almost share the same line. So I went in, now there's my vertice of the new square and I want to go a centimeter in from there okay so I go a centimeter in from there go around I want to go a centimeter in from here right a centimeter if you don't have a ruler to do this you can use any straight edge and in terms of measuring the distance as long as you have something that can measure the same distance each time so even even a pencil works fine you can make mark make a mark with a pencil make a mark with a pencil you know and do that as well and then Anything that has a straight edge, even another pencil has a straight edge. Okay. Um, I did this one. Now I'm going around. Now this is the new circle, so I want to measure a centimeter. Okay, so now I'm going to join the new line, new dots. All right. So I start there. This is m m this was my new square. This is my new measurement. So I'm going to go from here to the new one. Now you see how the squares, the new square is already twisting. Okay, and then same thing there, All right? And then I go from this one to that dot that I made, and then I go from this one to this dot, okay? So it keeps twisting around, now it's tw twisting even more. And I should probably make these original lines a little darker so it looks a little more like a square on the outside. Okay, see how it's turning now? The square is turning. Okay, so we start up here again, same place. Move in, move in, move in. Now we move in another centimeter. Okay. And I just picked a centimeter because it, it seems um, for this to be about the right distance. So we move in again, move in again, move in again, and we move in again. Okay, so now move over to this is the newest dot, newest point, right? And I go join those two. Now I go from this one, and I go down, and I go from this one, and I go here, and then from this one to the new dot there. Sometimes a common mistake is to draw straight through to the outside square but you don't you just you keep making the square smaller and smaller and smaller as it turns okay and that's how you measure it okay you can see how it's starting to show that curve okay where it's coming around like that right how that that's forming okay so we do the same thing again another centimeter another centimeter and it doesn't matter if your mark crosses over another line as long as you remember where it's supposed to go. Okay, so you might need help with this um, if you're having difficulties with the measurement, but that's fine. They can help you, someone can help you measure the dots, and then you can draw the lines, okay, and see how it forms. See, I'm always going to the inside, always going to the inside and rotating it around. Okay, there we go. It's turning and turning and getting smaller, turning and getting smaller. Okay, so start over here. Where are my dots? Okay, my next one is going down here. Okay, there's my next one. Same thing here. Going around, my next one is there. You can just follow the, follow the line of dots. All right, go around. My next one is going to be up here. Centimeter. And then my next one is going to be here. 
a centimeter or a di or the pencil distance or whatever you decide to make that distance okay now we join this line up here join this line here join this line here and join this line here and remember with these videos you can always stop them you can rewind them just if you want to pause uh, just to see what you're doing okay now go around another line another centimeter right there another centimeter right there I realize that I'm not wearing my glasses hopefully I'm reading the numbers right right here and right there and then you keep drawing okay and I know I know my grade one friends can do this um, because we all need lots of practice using a ruler and drawing straight lines okay so if you need a little bit of help to start then ask somebody for some help and maybe even practice doing some straight lines before you do this okay but my older friends should know how to do this and be very skilled at drawing straight lines with rulers okay so we go across now you can see how the square is getting smaller and it's turning okay see it's getting smaller and it's turning we'll do a few more Okay, and the question is, why can't I just do all the line, all the one centimeters? You can't do all of them because the next, because the next mark of the one centimeter is going on the next square that you draw. Okay, there's only one mark on each square on each side, so that's why you can't do more than one at a time when you measure. Okay, here we go. And we draw again, draw again. Now I'm going to move just a little bit quicker. Okay, and go. Here we go. I hope uh, all of you are enjoying watching some of these videos. We do have a lot of different challenges and activities coming up. Some a little more tricky. Than others, some might involve working an entire day on a project or a challenge. Okay, uh, let's see, keep moving right there. Now, the fun part about this is when you get to um, color it in and decide what pattern uh, you're going to color. And I'll show you when we're almost done this how I've seen it done. Okay, and there's no right or wrong. I just uh, I just want to show you a couple different things that I've seen and By all means if you want to make another one you can and if you want to try the triangle you can now It does have to be an isosceles triangle, which means that each side is equal length. Okay, so it's going to be um, Three angles of 60 degrees 60 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay in terms of uh, in terms of um, the, the triangle itself no, not an isosceles, an equilateral triangle. I said that wrong. Okay, where all three sides are equal. So it's a little tricky to draw, and if it's not perfect, doesn't matter. Okay, if you don't have the tools to, to draw it properly, then it's no big deal. Just the uh, best you can, as close as you can. Okay, so as you can see, this is definitely getting smaller, and it's turning more and more. Eventually, you just run out of room, on the inside for a place to rotate and draw your square okay so we'll go here here and if you make a mistake just erase it and clean it up and keep going now see I'm still following the same line I'm still starting at the same line that I started on from the beginning it's just moved around now I mean that's all okay and if you noticed, when I'm measuring, I'm not always starting at the zero. It's just out of convenience because I know from 15 to 16 is still a centimeter. And it's, it's still a centimeter from zero to one. I just 
rather use the middle of the ruler when I'm at the middle of the page. It's just easy to turn, easy to measure. Right, easy for me to see, especially since I don't have my glasses on. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last one. I think we'll stop here. As you can see, my square is a little wonky. Somehow, somewhere, I've I've gone off a little bit. Um, and that's okay. It's going to twist anyway. All right, I don't think it... No, this one's not going to be perfect, that's for sure. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to stop there. And now, as you see, it's... it's in there's the, there's the square. And it started and it's twisted and it's made gun smaller okay and now what you can do what I've seen is I've seen people color it or they've joined the um, the same part see when this is colored here they just colored it along here and they colored here and went along there okay so if that's the case this one is this next part is not right um, and this is the tricky part. I think what they've done though, and I, this was this one was not done correctly. This, I did this one. Okay, I didn't do it the way I wanted to do it, and I realized halfway through. What I should have done is I should have done this. I should have started maybe, maybe more in the middle and said, okay, I want to color these, then I want to color these together, then these, then these, then these, right, and then color that together, and then go over to the next one and then say, okay, I want to color this one, and then see, I didn't color this one. I didn't finish the pattern properly because that's where it should have met. Okay, and then it gives it a real spirally look. And I only did a light pencil coloring, but I think it looks better when it's a little darker. Um, and then when you look at it, it's quite an optical illusion, like it's a, a tunnel going down. Okay, or you can use different colors if you want. Um, you can use one, one, one set, one, one complete set on the inside is one color, then the next one is another color. Doesn't match up to you. And if you want to make another one, you can make another one, okay? You can make more than one. And like I said, you can try it with a triangle as well. Okay, so that's how you do the uh, rotating shrinking square. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and um, please post uh, your creations on Etsy. And, uh, or if uh, you're watching from a different uh, school or different area, please uh, um, post what you make and share it maybe on Twitter. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And we will see you or talk to you again uh, for the next challenge. Thanks for now.